What's going on, everybody? Welcome back to another episode of NFT Alpha. It's your host, Taco, here. Uh, give us a follow on YouTube. Give us a follow on Twitter. And let's get right into it. Yesterday, the heavy metal mecha bots, they revealed. So we're over, we're over here on MD vmm.xyz you see this box and it has a little lock on it let's refresh the page and see what happens and uh if you've been keeping up with our videos we went over the trial of jimmy the past the present the future and then we even went into trippy mode with the toads and then uh, of course we had the summoning we had the mecha types revealed and they finally came through the rift so let's click on this one the heavy metals just landed in the board of yacht club swamp Thirty thousand curious machines from another world armed and dangerous they're here to wait is that a hot dog cannon? All right, we'll get into it more, but uh, let's watch this cool video. What is what is going on here? What is he he what is he doing? Let's let's speculate a little bit. So this is uh pretty much what has happened so far. Mecha dogs versus the mecha monkeys. Is that what the MD VMM stands for? Took me a while to get over how beautiful the heavy metals are, especially the celestial ones. Now that I'm done, it's time to dig into the reveal video from the board api club but i'm gonna pause right there let's go over to open c and you can see what these guys look like so this is the low to the high right now as you can see right here current floor price is 0.92 best offer 0.84 only three percent of twenty-seven thousand are listed i'll scroll through this really quick so you can get an uh, idea of what the lower tier evos look like this one's got like a whole boom box and it looks like it's got a uh a french fry fryer there let's go to the the most expensive the most sought after ones right here we go price high to low holy crap i haven't even seen this one yet it looks like there's like a face inside of it and then this thing right here that's your companion so if you got a high score in the toad mode, I think if you got in the, the top 2,000 or the top 3,000, then you were able to get a little companion here. And that's represented companion, yes. Right now, the cheapest companion is 2.69 Ethereum. Pretty expensive if you want a little companion guy. And we really don't know what they're gonna be used for either. So a lot of speculation in the Yuga Labs ecosystem, which is good because I mean, if you speculate that maybe if you can, if you collect all the different types of companions, maybe you can morph them together into a super companion. Maybe the companions help you to farm resources on the game better. So it's all speculative right now. These are the Reavers right here, the red and black ones. These are the Celestials. And these are the holos, or the H-O-L-O, -O, holo, 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 however you want to pronounce it. That one's pretty cool looking, and that's not even a, a super rare one. A lot going on, a lot going on, but I, I, I'm i here for it. I love it. I wish I could afford one of these cool ones. This one looks like it's got, like, planets going on. I, I mean, it's so cool. All of them look super unique. I mean, this one, this one looks insane also. I can, I can sit here all day during this video and just like admire the art behind these. But uh, let's move on. Let's move on. WTF happened. All right. So I'll leave this in the description if you want to go through it and maybe decipher some more information. But yep, th those are all of the all of the different types. Reaver, Celestial, Holo, 
Bio, Night, Glitch, and Dynamic. I've got the Dynamic one, and I really want the one with the little alien inside. I'm gonna, I'm gonna, I might go shopping after I record this video. So if you scroll down all the way to the bottom, this is like a, a little snapshot of the game. So it looks like you'll be able to like mine resources, craft resources, maybe craft items. Maybe you can even sell those items on uh, like an open sea, for example. Let's go to that thread again. Okay, so these are what we know so far. Jimmy the monkey opened the rift with his atomic, atomic ship, ship as seen here. Beautiful, right? All right, and then medieval ape appeared from the rift and gave Curtis a box. The apes, uh, they were partying, they're having a good time. They were, they're pounding them back. And then uh, Jimmy accidentally swallowed the key and locked himself in the bathroom. So this is them uh, now. They're going to go into the sewer. So the apes went to the sewer to get the key. And then the apes opened the box and they got the heavy metals. There are two characters that's been steering the story. Jimmy the monkey and Gary the dog prophet. I believe they have some history and board ape kennel cub drop. It was alluded that kennels exist to fire missiles at Jimmy. Jimmy's been causing trouble in the club in first Board Ape Yacht Club game. This this is uh, taking, we, taking us back to like last year. So even actually two years ago. So there's the kennel club. Um, your uh, proof of attendance protocol request has been received. That's what that means, POAP. The Board Ape Kennel Club adoption drive. It gets lonely in the swamp sometimes. That's why every ape should have a four-legged companion to curl up at your feet, to bring you a beer, to fire a missile launcher at the effing monkey Jimmy. Jimmy the monkey must have been effing with the machines this whole time. That was the only explanation. The monkey had somehow figured out how to make Curtis into the protagonist of this game taking place in the Board Ape Yacht Club inspired sewer world. Mutant Ape Yacht Club, that's what the life preserver in this underground bar said. It was like looking into a house of mirrors. You had to hand it to Jimmy. The, the monkey had a strange way of getting his kicks. Curtis played the game through, of course. It took him 20 effing tries. You had to fight your way to the surface. There's only one way out of the Mutant Ape Yacht Club, it seemed, and it's guarded by an ape heavily roided out on toxic waste. After beating the Mutant Ape on the final stage, there was a prompt to input his wallet address, another effing POAP. Great. Thanks, Jimmy. So this is this is all like the history, the 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 story behind the story. All right. So Gary versus Jimmy. We saw Gary acting sus in the heavy metal reveal. He stole the golden bone right here. He is also angry at the heavy metals, as seen in this picture. And he also has a missile launcher on his back. Could it be because he knows the heavies heavy metals are brought here from Jimmy's ass? or he knows they could be trouble. All right, so this gentleman, I should have uh, introduced who he was in the beginning, J-Bond, J-Bond Wagon. So he's been following the MDVMM from the start. He has also been paying attention to Gary's prophecy, and he's been preaching that a cosmic battle is upon us. MDVMM, it's someone versus someone else. But what's this cosmic battle? My speculation has always been Mecha Dogs versus Medieval monkeys or mecha monkeys because you can see here i mean cosmic battles upon us it looks like a monkey in a like a robot suit and then it looks like jimmy in a like a tank and they're they're battling i previously shared my speculation that mdvmm is mecha dogs versus medieval monkeys because of the weapons attacking the medieval ape when he gave curtis the box but what if it's mecha monkeys the one on Gary's prophecy looks like a robot monkey. Final Evo variants, dog or monkey. Another point for cosmic battle between dog and monkeys is the two potential final Evos from our heavy metals Evo 3 or Evo 2 plus dog. Evo 3 game can lead to mecha monkeys. See tail in second pick, upper left, while Evo 2 plus kennels to mecha dogs. Okay, so this has been uh, shared in the past. So like you got your sewer pass, which that qualified you for your heavy metal box. Now we're in evolution one, but there's going to be evolution two and evolution three. And there's going to be a combination with a board ape kennel club. Hey, maybe, maybe if you can afford one, maybe look at, at getting a uh, board ape kennel club little doggy and maybe it'll give you um, superpowers. So this was leaked a while ago and 
right now we are right here but it looks like these things are going to get bigger this is probably evolution two as seen at the bottom so evo one evo two now you got evo three and you see this little teddy bear right here i'm guessing these are the little companions you know those little blobs i showed you on the heavy metals maybe they get bigger and they supply you with power and then hey maybe if you have your um, board ape kennel club he can have his own mecha robot creation down here look at the, the bottom right but uh i think this is super super cool you really, um, you're along for the ride and uh, Yuga Labs has been, they've been killing it with uh, just their different drops and their um, their updated metadata on their different collections. Uh, we went over the vessels. So you had to burn your other side land to retrieve a vessel and then to get a uh, other side land expanded. So with the other side land expanded, now you can play the game once it comes out. You won't be able to do it on the regular other side lands. I don't believe. So don't don't quote me, but um, if you know in the comments, let me know. All right, so last last little um, uh, message on this thread, Gary versus Jimmy. Another case to make with mechas, do, mecha dogs versus mecha monkeys is Gary versus Jimmy, as you can see in these pictures. They're the only two characters in the swamp that are not apes. Hmm. We don't know yet, but I feel Jimmy has something under his sleeves, too. Are you Team Gary or are you Team Jimmy? He's looking a little sus right there. And then, uh, yeah, he looks pissed that these guys are, are here on their swamp land. Um, oh, where he, where's he going? I'll leave this thread if you want to go through it again and kind of maybe speculate yourselves. But this is where it all is going to come to fruition. In this week's update, and this is from the other side official Twitter, we break down some of the key strategic elements of Legends of the Mara. These are high level notes. For the full breakdown, check out LOTM Gaming Blog. The strategy behind Legends of the Mara starts with the decisions we make as collectors. The game embraces a variety of different play styles, each with their own strategic advantages. So you've got hunters, you've got farmers, and you have enchanters. It's pretty cool. It all starts with the vessels. There are three types of vessels, hunters, farmers, enchanters. Each can hatch into a corresponding type of Mara if properly nested. However, only one vessel can be nested at a time, so you'll need to choose the Mara you wish to hatch wisely. Once hatched, a Mara can be assigned to another deed. Depending on its type, the Mara will either farm for sediment fragments, hunt on it, or something else in, in the case of enchanters. More on them in the coming weeks. So why farm sediment fragments? Voyagers will have the opportunity to combine their Maras with sediment fragments and a seasonal catalyst to, to transform their Maras into a more powerful Kodamara. A Kodamara's look, trait rarity, and game function are all influenced by Voyagers' choices. So it's not just gonna be like a, okay, you get to this stage, now, um, now you uh, upgrade to this item or this vessel, or this Mara. Everybody is going to have a unique experience. And I think that's that's amazing. That is a truly unique experience where, let's say you mess up and, um, I don't know, maybe you forget to feed your Kota Mara, or you forget to feed your Enchanter, and it dies. Maybe it's like one of those Tamagotchi pets where you gotta, you gotta care for it all the time. I don't know. Bring back Tamagotchis. The recipe for producing the rarest Kodamara has been lost to time. It's up to the voyagers to experiment which combinations of seasonal catalysts, sediment fragments, and Mars will yield the best results. That's insane. Okay, so like, it's almost like a, um, um, a treasure hunt to find the best combination to create the strongest, most powerful Kodamara. So you can see the different sediments here. I don't know what the names are, so um, it, they probably have the names of these on one of their website pages. Why set your Mara to hunt? Other side is under attack. Voyagers can deploy their Coda, Mara, and Coda Mara to defend it from the Shattered. Mysterious Titans that awaken shortly after the vessels descended. What? So now, there, now there's going to be these things called the Shattered. 
which are going to be mysterious titans that apparently are already awake because the vessels have already descended. So uh, be prepared for the shattered. I feel like they're going to be some nasty uh, MFers. When, I, when a shattered is defeated, it leaves behind a treasure. The more efficiently a shattered is defeated, the more rare and exclusive the treasure. Okay, so if you defeat the shattered in a way that is the most efficient you get more treasure and it's going to be rare so there's uh, definitely a strategy behind this and i'm going to be looking forward to all of the all the individuals that are going to be recording this and putting it up on my youtube and maybe we can get a little bit of alpha by uh, by checking out other people's uh, strategies and of course this little x is covering this that's an ape coin logo right there i'm assuming that maybe you can upgrade your items maybe you can purchase up those upgrades with ape coin or maybe you get to earn ape coin i don't know but it's right there so um i'm gonna be buying some ape coin i already own a lot of ape coin and i got it staked i gotta go to mexico if i want to unstake it and other deed expanded will unlock a gameplay for the legends of the mara and its traits will affect strategy in future seasons, artifacts and resources will come into play and more about each other D traits, meaning will be unveiled over time. Season one of The Other Side, Legend of the Mara, will launch this summer. It's just the beginning, and as we progress through season two and beyond, the team plans to adopt and expand the game's mechanics offerings. But if you, uh, if you look at this, and then you look at the other side lands, it's like little pieces from a bunch of the other side lands put together and this looks like it's like a spaceship. So maybe you'll be able to steal resources from other people and create little, um, little items in the game. And of course, to be safe, and which I feel like any official NFT project or company should do, this is the final tweet in the thread. Anything below this is a scam. So if anyone is trying to scam you, It'll be below this last tweet. So do not click it because it is not from the other side. I think that's it for today, guys. This is a long, long video on uh, just the updates from the other side, updates from Yuga Labs on their heavy metals, their other side lands, their, their pretty much their story is continuing and we will find out more in June about the evolution number two but I feel like there's still a lot to come. I'm going to be going over all of it. I'm your host, Taco. Have a great day.